I interviewed Joe Torre recently. That's one of my, he's my frat brother and a dear friend of mine. That's what it is. He mentioned that you and Robin Harris didn't get along at all. Deal and Robin didn't really get along? Nah, nah, nah. Deal didn't come when Robin was alive. Okay. Yeah, because they didn't get along. Yeah, Robin, that Robin, Robin was known for knocking your ass complete the fuck out. He didn't care. Pistols, well, he whooped everybody ass. It's about you talking about. He, 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 puts, he put them down. He, I could name names. He didn't care. Um, and if you stole his jokes or you got into it with him or something like that, he was, you know, Robin was about that life. Why? Robin didn't like me at all. Really? No. Probably because of TK. But probably Wait, what Robin didn't like TK and I was TK. Oh, day. oh, it was a TK. Thing. But Robin, okay. um, Robin would. Um, I was in awe of Robin. I respected his talent. I, I was. He's the best comic I've ever seen. And I say that openly. Ever. Robin Harris is the best comic you've Robin, ever seen. Okay, Robin I, Harris. I can see that. Okay. Is the best comic I have ever seen. He isn't my favorite comic. He's the best comic I've ever seen. Have you ever seen Eddie Murphy? Ever. I, the, the, the best comedian I have. I've seen Robin on the stage with Eddie Murphy. And Robin beat out Eddie Murphy, you feel? The, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to equivocate. He is the Robin Harris huh. to date in my 59 years of life is the best comic I have ever seen. Have you seen Richard Pryor live? Robin Harris. <laughs> well, just answer the question. Have you seen Robin? Yes. Okay. Is right. the best comic okay. I have ever seen. Ever. Ever. And I'll tell you this, Robin Harris is the only person I know. I've interviewed multiple people that they said that they've gotten their outfit roasted by Robin Harris to the point where they've thrown away their yeah. outfit. Yeah. Faze on Love threw away his boots. Yeah. John Sally threw away his pink suit. Yeah. My first uh, all black crowd was with me and Robin Harris. Um, he came down to host, just for people who know who Robin was, um, this comedy, I think it was Bees, Bees, some, some, some little rinky-dink place held about maybe 40, 50 people. And I had some red shoes on, some red boots. Um, and he talked about my boots so damn bad when I got on stage. <laughs> I went downstairs and took the boots off and threw them in the trash. <laughs> I was like, man, don't ever let me buy no goddamn red boots. I go to see Robin Harris. I think I tell the story. I got on a pink outfit, All right? Pink shirt, linen, pants go with it. And I walk in and Robin Harris says, look at that tall bottle of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Glad I got up. I had rented a Rolls Royce too. I walk outside in the Merck Park. I get in my Rolls Royce. I drive back to Center City. I throw that outfit in the garbage. <laughs> I probably just paid $400. They literally went in the back and alleyway and threw away because they were being roasted this bad by he, this man. He, You got to remember, I grew up here in L.A. and the Co Comedy Act Theater, the Regency West was the Comedy Act Theater. Mm -hmm. All of them came to see him hold court. Robin Harris, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, I mm. mean, uh, Eddie Murphy, Whoopi Goldberg, Arsenio Hall, all the Wayans, Jamie Foxx. I saw Jamie Foxx at the Comedy Act Theater. They saw, that's where they found him, at the Comedy Act Theater. Jamie Foxx was so talented when I saw him on stage. I stormed out of the thing and I said, it's unfair for somebody to be that intent. It made me so mad. I'm like, fuck this, it's unfair. <laughs> for, right, because he could also sing and, and he everything He was so else talented. Time. But Robin Harris is, and, and Robin, I was a protege of TK. TK was teaching me about comedy, comedy. TK and comedy, TK and Robin did get along. And what Robin would do to me is I would go to the Comedy Act Theater. I would sit there. It would be over at 11.30. Robin would host to 11.27. Right when people were out, were, were, were leaving, he'd bring me on. And he did it over and over and over and over again. With three minutes left. While they were, and I would still do okay. One day, Robin said to me, he said, I see you, you got, you, you gonna have everything I ever have and nobody ever made it. Like he, he made it, express it for me. And like he, he got, had this, he had this idea 
and uh, we had a conversation. Robin did the Bay Bay's Kids album. I was the dude who introduced him. Mm. And two months before he died, we got so close, we talked every day. Mm. But it was, and that was a shame, but we, he hated me. He hated me. And I was like, but I was CK's friend and I was CK's protege and I, it was it was a weird dynamic, but at the, in the end of it, we had the, the best 60 days I can remember in the long term. What happened between Robin Harris and TK Kirkland? TK was C- TK. <laughs> Let me say something. I love him. TK was wild back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> like, it's so funny to hear TK talk about him now <laughs> because I know him. <laughs> Did you ever see when I brought John Sally on? Uh-uh. And he talked about the whole situation over the stolen watch, Charlie Murphy's yeah. watch. And the way that John described it was not the way that TK described it. So I put TK on the phone and the two of them actually talked it out. And- so, so you got to remember, I was on tour with Charlie Murphy when he died. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, I, I I've, knew, I've interviewed him before. Yeah. I knew TK's story. I knew John's story, right? I mean, I knew TK's story. I knew uh, Charlie's story. Charlie's story. Yeah. Um, but I will say this. TK got my dental benefits cut off. Right. Like TK, like, he is, but he, he's so different than he was then. Mm-hmm. But he fucked over a lot of people, man. Yeah. He was a hustler. He fucked over a lot of people. But to see him now be like this kind of sage wise dude. <laughs> Makes me want to throw up. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Like we were just together like two weeks ago, and he's so different. But that's what happens when you grow. Yeah. And he grew, and I'm I'm very proud of him for getting what he's getting now. And he gives you a lot of. Cra- I'm telling you, man, there were very few outlets for for TK to be discovered in. There were very few places where he could get introduced, and this was the outlet that introduced the country to TK. And now you see him on Drink Champs. You see him on The Breakfast Club. You see him exposed to people. I'd always loved him. Even when my wife wouldn't speak to me because he got our benefits cut off. <laughs> Even when people didn't understand. Like, so many times people want to fight me because I was friends with TK. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to TK, man. That's my man. You know, he stood by me through thick and thin. I, and I, don't, have, to, I don't have nothing bad to say about TK. When, when he, it was one time, man, it was, I'll never forget, and I'm not going to say who these people were. But he, a bunch of people came down to see T.K. He'll tell you this story. And I was standing by him. And they're like, you with him? And I went like, I, I guess I am. <laughs> like, I guess I am. <laughs> they want to fuck him up? I guess. I, yes! Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I guess I am with him. Like, yeah, that's what you know your real friends to... are. If you're willing to get beat up with your friend, that's really your friend. Yep. Yep. And I was with him. That's There's one time, man, he'll tell you the story. This dude, TK did a lot of horrible shit, but he always was a good dude, man. Yeah. 